Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of your access has been suspended because this profile doesn't follow our guidelines or the guidelines. That is, if your Google business has been suspended, this is how you can solve it. First of all, before I go to the step-by-step -step process of solving it, I want to let you know that there are several reasons why your Google business may be suspended. One of them could be that you have created multiple businesses. The other one is that your naming may not follow the guidelines. Now, if you come and then you click on Google Business Suspended Appeal, then you will see this, it will come. Then you click on this, it brings you here. Now, when it brings you here, uh, Google themselves have put a video that you can follow, but this is more step-by-step -step that I'm going to do for you than what you are going to watch there. So take time and follow what I'm showing you. Now you have to come here and then click on Submit and Appeal. But before you click on the Submit Appeal, there are certain documents you may need. You may need either an uh, official business registration, a business license, a tax certificate, utility bills like electricity, phone, water, and internet. And any of these that you're going to use, your business name must be on it and it should show the location. You need that. Now, when you come and click on Submit Appeal, it brings you here. So from here, you have to, they are asking you to confirm you are signed in. They will show the account you are signed into. If it is not the account that you, you want to um, use to appeal, then you have to switch. So you switch and choose the account you want to use. So I'm inside that account. So now you click on what? Confirm. So when you click on confirm, it will show you all the businesses that you have and probably the one you want to make an appeal for. So if I come here, the one that is suspended is this is, is this one. So I have to just make sure that I select that one. If you look here, um, the two they are asking me, you see this, the first two, their names are the same. Almost everything about them is the same. It's the reason why it is suspended. So in the first place, if you are having two businesses that are the same, it is advisable to delete one. Or if they are two and then the location of one is different from the other, maybe you have the business at different branches. So you have to make sure that the location is different so that at least Google will understand why you are having the same name but at two different locations. Now, if you look at it here, they are showing me the profile IDs. But here, I don't have the profile ID. I only have the store ID. Okay, so in that case, uh, if I want to check this one, I have to come and click on Manage Profile. And then come and click here. And then go to edit info. Then you click on the um okay, go to more. When you scroll down to click on the three dots here and go to business profile settings. And then you will see you will see advanced settings. And then you go to advanced settings, you see the business profile ID. So you look at the ID, then that will help you come and determine um, the business profile ID one. So is this one. So I'll just click on it and click on continue. So as you see, they are giving the reason why they rejected it. They said 23rd October. And then the reason was that it is having decept deceptive content. That is the reason why it was suspended. So if you look, look at it, it says eligible for appeal. So if I actually want them to, if I want to submit an appeal, I just have to come and click on this and click on submit appeal. Now, when I click on submit appeal, they will. I, I don't really want to submit the appeal, but if I click on the submit appeal, I'll be asked to fill the information, my name, the email address I want to get the response from. Then I'll also be asked to put the business profile ID. So in that case, I have to come back um, to this and then copy the business profile ID and then put all that information and submit. When you submit the appeal, they will review it and respond to you within two weeks. If you take time and follow this, you will be able to appeal and get your business manager reinstated. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and like this video for other more powerful videos. Once again, see you in the next video. Bye.